Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, you, have, you have Sam and Susan Ross's name on there? I have Sam. Sam and his wife is Susan. Susan's here as well. They're both here. Uh, they're not going to make it up they're not here. Gonna make, right? They're not going to make it up here. All right. I wish they could have. But. Is he all right? I tell you what, I'm ready for a break. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a busy morning. It has. It's been a busy morning. Jimmy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second running of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint is four-wheel drive, who remains undefeated with that very impressive performance. We have now the winning connections from left to right, uh, Phyllis Church, who's a partner in Breeze Easy, along with Mike Hall, and of course, winning trainer Wesley Ward, uh, as well as his son Riley, who's joined us up here as well. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, Wesley, I'd just like to start with your impressions of the, of the race, as well as this uh, impressive undefeated two-year-old you've got. Uh, he's a very, very talented colt. Uh, I said he's a very talented colt. He's done nothing wrong um, so far. He's three for three. He's got a big, big future. Next year as a three-year-old, we're all real excited. You know, it's always nervous jitters when you're coming through here, um, trying to get here and trying to get something done. And to actually do it with an American Pharaoh is just first crop of, of everybody's got such high expectations for him. And to get it done, in, you know, on a big stage like this in the Breeders' Cup is just, it's unbelievable. And can you talk a little bit more about being by American Pharaoh and debuting on the turf? And was that uh, an, an obvious decision for you or not? Uh, well, I trained his brother um, as a two-year-old, and he showed an affinity for the grass uh, from the mare's side. So that's just kind of the way I went with him from the onset. He's had some nice works on the dirt. But to me, he's impressed me a little bit more on the grass, and so I just didn't want to take what worked. And we had a goal to come here to win this race for these guys. And, you know, it's, it's very hard to do almost impossible, only one can do it of the whole crop uh, in this particular race, and for him to do it, it's just uh, outstanding. Mike, can you talk a little bit about what this win means, means for Breeze Easy? Well, this win is uh, a big day for Breeze Easy. Uh, as you know, we've been in the game three, four years. I can't keep track. It's not been long, and to do this, uh, to win a Breeders' Cup race is, is a pretty pretty big deal. I think, you know, we was lucky and, and won a race at Royal Ascot, but this seems more thrilling than that. Uh, I did enjoy Real Ascot, but this is a this is a beautiful situation, and I got I got to thank Wesley. He puts a lot of hard work into training his horses and does a great job. I want to also thank uh, Mike Malika sitting on the right. He's our racing manager and works closely with Wesley, and they work as a team and just do a wonderful job with all of our horses. So we are really thrilled. Um, I don't know what else to say. To have an American Pharaoh. Uh, I think there was three American Pharaohs made it to the Breeders' Cup, and to have one to, to win, uh, so far, it's, it's a big deal to us. And Mike, uh, your partner Sam Ross is here as well with his wife Susan. He wasn't able to make it up to the press conference, but he was obviously very excited after the race. Can you just tell us a little bit about Sam? And, and I heard after the race that he was talking about how much it meant to win this race in America. Well, you know, Sam and I have been partners in business for uh, a long time and uh, he is he's just a super guy I, I couldn't be here today without him uh, he has helped me a lot in my life and him and his wife are, are just the greatest people he's like my second dad so I wish he was feeling better and could have made it up here Wesley I'm curious uh, what's on your mind and looking forward with a, an undefeated two-year-old like this that's obviously very fast and talented well we'll talk it over with Mike Malika and uh, Mike and Sam um, we talked a little bit on the plane last night. You know, obviously for me, uh, it's, it's well known that I try to go to Royal Ascot, and this colt certainly would be one of the favorites next year to do that as we sit today. Um, he's done a lot in a short amount of time is what I've told him. I think he deserves a little bit of a break, kind of a little bit of a letdown, and then push forward. Uh, but what he's doing right now, being a turf sprinter, there's not a lot until the springtime. So we'll sit down with the boys, not saying that he can't go on the dirt, uh, and, and make a big plan here. Uh, on the dirt, but also uh, longer too. Is that a possibility, or do you think he's definitely well, a sprinter? Well, he's certainly got a beautiful mind. As you see, he kind of he's done everything so far that we've asked of him. Um, he popped out there today and kind of pricked his ears and just kind of cruised around real nice. Um, you know, so so certainly, you know, on the, uh, from the onset, I thought for sure he could definitely go a mile. But you know, it's hard to change what what he's you know very effective at right now. But again, like I say, we'll we'll sit down with the team and we'll make a plan and and hopefully make the right decisions. 
was it essentially the plan to run them off their heels and let them come and get them, or, or is that just his natural speed? I kind of left that. I always leave my, you know, I, I tell a little bit of the, the antics and the, uh, to the horses, to the jockeys, and, you know, when the gate opens, for the most part, you know, 80% of the time, you know, your plan, it changes. And so I, I always like to have uh, jockeys that can adapt and know that that's okay with me. And today, you know, what the plan was going into the race, if they were kind of blazing out there early to sit back a little bit. But, you know, he broke so well, and Irad just kind of took it to him and, and changed uh, and adapted and called an audible, and it worked. Any questions in the room? Yes, Matt. Wesley, congratulations. Um, for, from being around four-wheel drive, so much. What type of characteristics does he have that reminds you most of American Pharaoh, and did he show that today at all? His, de his demeanor. Um, you know, American Pharaoh, from what I've seen, uh, was you know very docile horse. You know, he was he could go anywhere and took everything in, and and was almost like a stable pony. Uh, and th this guy's the same way. You know, we we Mike came over to the barn today, and we brought him out, and you'd have thought he was here for the last seven years. I mean, he came out and had his head down. We were petting him, and he dropped his head, and we were, you know, he was just, just a wonderful horse and a great demeanor. There's no, you know, pre-race antics that you have to worry about with him. Bob. Yeah, uh, for Mike, could you just talk about what encouraged you to get involved in uh, racing as an owner? And Sorry, the name of your partner again. I, I couldn't catch that. Well, I, I don't, it's kind of a long story. I happened to be in Ocala, and a friend of mine uh, asked me to go over to the horse sale, and I rode over with him and Phyllis and I, and uh, we ran across a, a little horse that we thought was looked pretty good, and, and we bought the horse. And uh, his name was Biography. He wasn't he wasn't the greatest horse by by no means, but uh, that kind of got us started, and then. Uh, I was kind of ashamed to tell my partner, Sam Ross, that I was getting in, uh, in the racehorse business, but he showed up at my house there a few weeks later, and I told him I had to go down and check on the horse, and he said, what kind of a horse do you have? I said, well, I bought a racehorse, so we went down to the barn and looked at the horse, and uh, I think I've told the story before. He said, well, he said, I think you're probably going to want to ride around on my airplane to see this horse run. He said. Maybe I ought to just be your partner. I said, well, you're in. So <laughs> it wasn't a problem getting him as a partner. We just have had a lot of fun since then. And uh, we bought a lot of horses. Uh, we bought some good ones, and we've had a few bad ones like everybody else does. But it is a, it's a dream come true to be able to do something like we've done here. Any other questions? All right, congratulations to the winning connections of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. Four wheel drive. Or, I'm sorry, four wheel drive. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Let's hope all Congrats. goes well for the next couple of days yes. for horse racing. And your right. escorts will take you out to the uh, Champagne Terrace for a toast. Thank you very much.